Sansa? Sansa. 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 Well, you asked for it, so here we go. Peter Littlefinger Baelish is a Machiavellian mastermind in both the Song of Ice and Fire books and, well, the first five or six seasons of the show Game of Thrones, in which he is played by Aidan Gillen. However, that's not why we're here today. We're here today to rip the ever-loving piss out of Littlefinger's accent. Well, accents, as it goes. They seem to change and get more bizarre each season, you see. Season 1 Littlefinger sounds like this. Look at you. You know what you want me to do. You know it has to be done. But it's not honourable, so... The words stick in your throat. He sounds like he's reading his lines on a screen inside his head whilst also trying to sound English. I don't remember Mayor Carsetti sounding this stuttery. Later, when he backstabs Ned, he sounds thoroughly snaky like a Disney villain. I did warn you not to trust me. He also gets a long monologue scene, which is hilarious because of the voice he's acting, but I can't show that as it has boobies in it. You know the one. For many years, most of my life really, play with her ass. In season two, we start to get some Irish creeping into his voice. Ah, the late King Renly. <clears throat> Rather a short reign. Murdered by a woman, I hear. So they say. There has been talk of other forces at work. Dark forces. I'm not sure if this was a decision on the actor's part or if even the tone-deaf David and Dan realised he sounded like an utter tool in season one. It's like he can't quite decide on what he wants the character to sound like, or he's just taking the piss. Who knows? Season 3, and he's back to sounding English-ish again, with some Irish on his R's, such as the famous Chaos is a Ladder scene. But what do we have left once we abandon the lie? Chaos. A gaping pit waiting to swallow us all. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. Season 4 and we're in full on raging Irish mode. He's clearly not even trying to sound like anything else at this point. Apologies, my lady. And to you as well, Baelish. We are treated you a bit harshly. You want justice, Lord Royce. I can hardly complain about that. I want the same. There's also the boat scene with Sansa where he sounds like he's trying to be Batman. Where are you taking me? I'm getting married to your Aunt Lysa. She's waiting for us at the Eyrie. You'll be safe there. Maybe his time spent with the big guy For you rubbed off on him. Season 5 and we have him embracing the accent of a pirate of the high seas. It felt like the safest place. Not for your clientele, clearly. It was an establishment like no other. A sheer range of appetites catered to desires that didn't even exist until we invented them. Season 6's Littlefinger seems to have stabilised his accent now, more in keeping with season 4. Whenever I consider an action, I ask myself, will this action help to make this picture a reality? Pull it out of my mind and into the world. In his last scene in season 7, Peter seems to cycle through every accent he's ever had in the show, like the T-1000 cycling through all the faces it's used as it melts. It's truly a wonder to behold. Give me a chance to defend myself. I deserve that. I am Lord Protector of the Vale and I command you to escort me safely back to the Eyrie. I think not. Sansa. I beg you. I loved your mother since the time I was a boy. I loved you. More than anyone. The thing I don't get is why Aiden never used his real speaking voice. Here's how he sounds in real life. I really did enjoy playing that character and Game of Thrones and being part of that, you know, just spectacular um, story weaving that so many people, you know, invested themselves in. That would have worked fine for the show. Overall, I'm going to award Peter Littlefinger. One chaotic ladder out of seven. Bye then.